left. Let's go ahead and take a look at their accomplishments. Yeah, you can see here, played uh, in the Team Challenge 4, got top 32. So uh, we're actually looking forward to seeing the uh, the Team Challenge 4. Uh, it's going to be commencing pretty soon. So uh, excited to be a part of that action. And then again, with that Lugia and Archeops, it has been the mainstay of this format. And time and time again, we've seen it just consistently at the top. Yeah, there's not much to say about this deck. It's very good, and I can't draw it. <laughs> yeah, you definitely cannot draw Lugia for <laughs> sure. Now, Noah Sawyer on the right. Charlotte Regionals, top 64 just this past weekend. Top 16 at the North American International Championships in 2019. Top 8 Dallas Regionals, and then top 32 in the Senior Division 4 Worlds in 2015. Season player for sure. Yeah, been playing a long time. Family been a part of the game, and it's great to see. Finally have this big breakout performance opportunity to make their way to the finals and potentially lock in one of those regional championships. Trying to do that here with the Lugia V-Star Archeops. Obviously, it's one of the best decks in the format. The conversion rate was incredible moving into day two, and this is one of the players who's been piloting it the best. Now both of these players are in this top four match trying to become the champion here and still got another match ahead of them to wait. But for right now, you got to put all your effort and time and then trying to take down the opposing Lugia V-Stars. Well, good luck without Aurora Energies and Choice Belts. Uh, no, <laughs> no on the other side, no belts of their own, along with the V-Guard Energy, which we see is uh, pretty prominently used early on in the game on those Lugia V-Stars. So, could be an interesting mix here, as we see a lot of important resources here. Well, it looks like our players are ready to begin. Given the go-ahead, there is the fist bump. Top four is underway. One of these players will make it into the finals. Another one will have their run finished here. And it's looking like Noah is starting things off with an Ultra Ball. No Archeops in the hand just yet, but able to get one if they choose to. Yep, just taking that opening look, trying to see what's uh, what's all going on there in the deck. And I'm going to get some information about at least uh, a difficulty knocking out this opening Lugia V-Star if it finds the V-Guard energy. That choice belt, the one of copy, usually is found with uh, that Irida to help out, or uh, hopefully drawing into it, but not going to be an option this time around. Yeah, wh why search for stuff when you can just draw it with a Rangaroo? Hey, you know what? That's uh, That's been a go-to strategy. Looks like both these players are featuring the uh, Rangaroo, and oh. would love to see that card early on to help out with uh, evening out some draws. But a card you don't want to see early on is discarding that Aurora energy. So now both of these players are a little bit uh, on the back foot here, at least with the resources they have available to them. Just no going to go ahead and guarantee that Oranguru here early on. Is of course, when you're going first in this matchup, having that single Lugia V is not the end of the world. Don't have to go ahead and commit down those additional spots to more V Pokemon and potentially give up prize cards you don't need to be given up. We're going to see that Primate Wisdom put that Professor's Research on top of the deck for next turn to try to stop against the Marnie. And the double turbo energy to the active and a pass of the turn. Justin's going to start things off with that Irida. Yeah, I mean, we mentioned it's great to have this card so that you can go and find the right item at the right time. But uh, what better time than on the opening turn if you need a little help here? You can make sure to guarantee that second Lugia V if you're worried about being potentially knocked out by your opponent on the second turn here. And although it is a little bit of a slower card, you're not going to see the hand disruption. Your opponent played their hand down to one. They already manipulated the top deck with the Oranguru, so uh, it's not worth uh, bothering there. Yeah, with the amount of Pokemon Search Noah played uh, and not grabbing that Luminion V, you have to expect that there's going to be a supporter on top of that deck. Marnie's not going to really help you disrupt that, so might as well get your own setup going. And with that Evolution Incense from the Irida, we'll find the Archeops. Archeops is going to be discarded with Quick Ball. And wow, looking at the hand, three Quick Ball. So that was the only way to really grab an Archeops out of the deck. We'll at least get two Lugia V down. And then from there, you got a lot of options for supporters. Quick Ball opens up Luminous Sign from Luminion V. And we can see a pretty good turn here. Can't complain too much with this opening setup for both these players. 
Justin just looking to get the rest of these cards into the discard pile if possible. And it's going to be the, the rope for a little bit of disruption now. Rope brings up that Rangaroo in the active spot. Two retreat costs for Noah, so they're going to lose a couple energy if they want to get off a turn two Tempest dive. And at least right now, Justin's going to continue on. Quick ball, discards quick ball. I'm going to find either Luminion V or that Orangaroo, and it looks like Orangaroo will be the choice. Yep, no fault there. Obviously, locking in that consistency and... Uh, I mean, you saw your opponent go for that early on. You know that that is going to be a great way to make sure you have all the right cards at the right time and uh, maybe avoid those clunky resources being uh, loaded up in the hand and other opportunities. Now with this Primate Wisdom, you could put one of those two energy back on top of the deck. Draw a card and, ooh, Marnie off the top. It could be pretty good, but your opponent has that one card in hand. Might just attach and pass. Looks like it. Yeah, we saw the uh, the Irida start things off there. <laughs> it was a, a slower turn, but obviously Marnie on the next turn might be a solid choice. Of course. <laughs> for Noah there. Get a nice opening draw. Hopefully the resources are there to turn this into a turn two summoning star. Looks like the Archaeops is lined up. Another evolution in sense. Hey, that grabs that Lugia V star from there. We know the professor's research is in hand, I believe. Well, I think it was just played to oh. <laughs> to start the turn. Oh, there. it was played to start the yes. turn. Yeah, well, yeah. well, we'll see if there's a way to get these uh, Pokemon into the discard pile now. Something like an Ultra Ball or Quick Ball will do just that. Going to have to rely on Primate Wisdom, I guess. Marnie off the top. That's not going to do it. Yep, a little bit clunky. Just the one Archaeops there, I believe. Hey, hey, you can get back Dunsparce. Um, all right. It is a colorless non-rule box Pokemon. You can. It's a, I feel like that's a thing that you usually go for against, what, Regigigas decks? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's about the only time it's truly warranted. I mean, we are really just one energy, one Aurora energy, one anything away from a really strong turn. It looks like Noah is going to give up the initiative here to try to get the second Archaeops down on turn three. I feel like if the escape rope wasn't played to push the Ranger to the active, it could have been an okay play because then you at least take a knockout. But right now, you can get the one Archaeops in play and then still not be able to retreat. That's, yeah, that's a great point. The energies just weren't lined up there. So no need to rush. The only thing you're trying to avoid now is your opponent with a boss's orders giant knockout on your Lugia V-Star. That would be a disaster. It looks well, like we got a professor's research. That's not going to line up here. Yep. <laughs> your opponent needs a couple more cards. Justin trying to see seven cards and find the right answers. I mean, you basically just need to get that Lugia V-Star rolling. Going to lose the Aurora energy in the process. And a Marnie. It's not... Uh Nothing getting discarded from that professor's research. The hand disruption is going to matter a lot going into the next few turns. Well, I'm worried about the double Aurora energy prized for Justin oh, and losing right. another. Yes. <laughs> it's, there aren't a lot of attacks available after this. We have that canceling clone going to be discarded to Ultra Ball. It's about the best way to play that card in this matchup. <laughs> Most of the tournament, maybe. Rangaroo Primate Wisdom card on top of the deck finds the Manaphy here. That is a card that could come up later on in the game if Noah has access to attack with something like that Raikou. I just don't think that the draws are lining up for either player just yet. Justin's playing it a little slow here with the Ultra Ball. Obviously access to the Lugia V-Star, but I guess the discard just didn't line up the way they intended. Can go ahead and discard the Stoutland here. It's not going to be too good in this matchup. Uh, and from there, you can go ahead and grab that Archaeops, attach the capture to Lugia V, and read the wind. That, that is a line as uh, we see the solo Archaeops there for both players. It's not what you're looking for. Capture energy. 
you can take a look, but you don't really care. <laughs> you, do, nope. uh, you have two bench spaces. You want both of those to be Archaeops. So just a quick shuffle of the deck, and we should see a read the wind as both players forced to play it slow. And Noah has to love seeing this, as this means there is another opportunity to get the initiative back of going first. Powerful Colas energy off the top of the deck. Has the Marnie in hand. Has an, I believe, has the Archaeops in hand. Yeah, not able to discard it yet, though. Yeah, there's, there's a really ugly line of play, I guess, where you can use the Luminion and guarantee it. But wow, that's so much better. <laughs> Just draw the quick ball with your Ranguru. Off the top of the deck, Primate Wisdom yet again showing how good of an ability it is. Now with that, both Archaeops are in the discard. Summoning Star is able to bring both of them out onto the bench, and from there, it's it's game business as usual, right? Uh, yeah, just pretend that turn three is turn two, and this is exactly <laughs> how Lukia matchups play out. Uh, both players just got stuck for a second, but sure enough, finds all the right cards, and look at that, even thinking about the Raiko in this situation, oh, this the Lukia V could be knocked out. The Oranguru there as well. It's a free prize card. What a great way to press the advantage. And, uh, hey, at least Noah's the one with the Aurora energies left. That's Yeah, that's true. Plenty of uh, cards able to be used there. Looks like the professor's research being thought of here. I guess the only issue now is making sure that the retreat is available along with uh, the way that you play these Archaeops, you're going to need to have the uh, colored special energy in hand to play onto the Raikou or the double turbo to attach to the Oranguru to make this work. We'll see if the cards line up here in hand, and sure enough, double more turbo. energy in the window. I think, I think there was also the double turbo in hand. Well, we'll see which ones Noah favors. The speed lightning has to be one that you think of here. Just make sure you make the most use of it there on that Raikou. So with the energy attachment in hand, that means you, even if the double turbo is not available, a primal turbo will be able to charge up the Ranguru to retreat. With those two capture energies, Aurora will discard a card from the hand and then amazing shot, taking three prize cards after a pretty disappointing first two turns from both these players. Yeah, I think the three prize cards makes up for it. <laughs> you start to feel a little better in this situation. Also, this is a Pokemon that we expect to see Noah be active with throughout the match as... The, the, one of the few differences in the list is Justin does not feature that Dunsparce, whereas we see that Noah does have that uh, in the list. So uh, can it take advantage of the weakness here, especially when you have the ability, you're, when you're going first, you know that you're generally going to get to see that Lugia V before it becomes a V-Star. Amazing shot, three prizes, and it has to feel bad having that Mana Fee in hand the turn prior, but of course you're not going to bench it because you want to be able to double Archaeops the following turn. And now Justin is has his back against the wall here. Finally has the Lugia V-Star, both Archaeops in the discard, summoning star of his own. We'll be able to get things going, get an attack off with this Luminion V in the active spot, get that two prizer off the board. Yeah, it does not feel great to exchange those three prize cards for one, but to remove the Luminion V from your side of play means that you're not going to be giving up those prize cards as easily. And that was a lot of resources that we saw from Noah's side of the board. Of course, uh, with the Heat Fire energy, if we saw full use of all of the Auroras, there would be that potential for the Amazing Ray Evital, but I believe we just saw uh, one of those Auroras flashed in the discard pile. So no access there, but could still potentially see a card like that Radiant Charizard or Luminion make use of that last Aurora. Speaking of last Auroras, uh, it is sitting on Justin's Luminion V in that active spot. <laughs> That's the only one, <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is in. This has not been a good day for Aurora. A couple more energy on the active Luminion V, and we often see Lugia players do this and over committing their energy to the Luminion V. It's really just so you don't draw into them with the supporter you're about to play. Because they're going back into the deck anyway. Yep, you know, you have access to all these energies at any point in the game because of the double Archaeop, so might as well put them down onto the Luminion, and then you have an opportunity to see some different cards, not get stuck with all these energies in hand. And that's doubly important, being that the Oranguru is already knocked out. You're not going to have access to put those back into the deck if you get uh, a clunky hand here. Marnie will 
disrupt a little bit for Justin here. Five cards in the hand now. Finds a, I mean, a little bit of stuff, but you don't really need anything more this turn. I guess a Pokemon to pivot into. You don't want this Lugia V-Star or either of your Archeops getting knocked out. Yep, just going to continue to thin a little bit here, the Evolution Incense. Find that Archeops and... Of course, you have the knockout lined up, but you need to have your pivot Pokemon. Who are you going to send into the active spot in this situation? It doesn't feel great to promote a Pokemon like the, the Archaeops here. So maybe see that Ultra Ball used here for a Pokemon that can do just that. Find some higher hit points and not just walk into a, an awkward turn uh, from your opponents. But is there a Pokemon left that can do that? Uh, Manaphy? <laughs> yeah. uh, not, not very you much. You get knocked uh, hit out, points, I guess. Yeah. yeah, it's better than losing uh, an Archaeops, but I guess that is the one benefit for Noah, having that Snorlax as a Pokemon as opposed to all these Pokemon that would be knocked out from the Luminion V here. Good old dad's favorite. Shout out to dad. I'm sure TJ's watching home. Evolution in sense will start the turn for Noah here. Finds that Archaeops just thinning the deck out, making sure you have enough resources left. Well, this is a huge advantage here now for Noah, given the, the way that this opener has, has panned out. And still plenty of resources to close things oh. out here. Bringing oh. the Lukey up, you start to think. I, I, I think we're thinking Stoutland. Oh, Good okay. Good double dip fangs here. That is a nice find as the double colorless energy is a great way to retreat this Pokemon. Move that Stoutland V into the active spot. and Double colorless, what is this, 2011? Double turbo. <laughs> Excuse me, where am I? Um, but yeah, uh, it's uh, it's time to get munching. You don't get to do that too often in the Lugia mirror. Yeah, uh, part of me was kind of thinking maybe promoting one of the amazing rare Pokemon that won't be able to attack this game, the the Raikou or the Uvatol. Both of them do have two retreat, I believe, so it could be a little awkward. But if Noah's not taking a knockout, then it's fine. But this is. Worst possible scenario <laughs> for Justin here. Double Dip Fangs will be able to take the knockout thanks to those powerful colorless energies, and that's an extra prize card. Yeah, Justin has tried his best to not overplay Vs and uh, walk into too many traps, and sure enough, two attacks from Noah, five prize cards taken. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, some good prize cards um, at that, as Noah's going to be up... Five to one now with a great opportunity to close out here in game number one. Now, Justin does have a boss's orders in hand. Would need all four powerful colorless energies to take the knockout on the Lugia V-Star. Thanks for that double turbo. Yeah, that was, that was the awkwardness I was looking at on the opposing Lugia V-Star if it was to attack into the Lugia, but it's just going to be the knockout there. If there is any boss's orders, then Noah should be able to clean things up here fairly easily. I believe the quick ball is available if the Luminion is in the deck. Well, we got boss's orders. We got Luminion. Hello, fishies. And uh, yep, I see energy cards too. I think we got this one in the bag. It's going to be four energies down. Quick ball, Luminion, boss's orders. That is a knockout on the chops. We're moving on to game number two. Three attacks. Taking the game, can't write it up any better than that. That is efficient. Efficient, yeah. <laughs> Stumbled the first couple of turns there. Both players did, honestly. And Noah just able to recover first. And it, it was really all down to that Raikou and Amazing Shot. Taking those three prizes, you lose the Lugia V, not only, but the Orangaroo being able to just try to draw out of some of these hands. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of the, the awkwardness that you see in this matchup. Just... Both players understand the importance of having both of those Archeops available. And when you don't have that, you, got, you have to play a little bit slower. And sure enough, Justin just missing that one turn opportunity. If you can get one more card into, into the, the, the discard pile, you feel so comfortable. You can start attacking, you can get aggressive, maybe put no on the back foot. They don't find those opportunities, but three attacks is all it takes. And uh, what a great spot to be in the mirror match here up a game already. Now, since he won that first game, Justin's going to choose to go first. Even if something happens here where you're not able to overcome that advantage, game three, you're going first. And that's Feels what good. you want to be in this matchup. Yep. Of course, plenty of time here, 57 minutes. 
Don't need to think about anything drastic happening. You get to play a full game, and uh, if you don't know your opponent's deck list, you can definitely download a lot of information this game, even if you don't think that you're going to come out on top. One has to think if Noah kind of senses there's no Dunsparce in this list for Justin's side of board. Oh, got a peek at the hands. I think I like what's going on on Noah's side. I don't oh. like two powerful energies and a fish. Meanwhile, double Are Aurora again me? for Justin here. Stop that. Those are really important, Justin. And once more, the story of 3-2 Lugia is going to come back to bite <laughs> us as we see one of those Lugia V-Stars in the prize cards. If we lose another, we ain't playing Pokemon, are we? Well, at least thankfully here, there's no decision to actually discard a Lugia V-Star with these Ultra Balls and Quick Balls. Now the decision is, how can I get as many Archeops in my hand to discard before I Luminion for a, sub or for a supporter? And honestly, the, the hand doesn't even look too good. You're going to have to Quick Ball, Ultra Ball for a Lugia V, maybe pass. Yeah, there's definitely, there's plays to make, but they don't feel great, and you lose a lot of resources in doing so just to get cards that you would have hoped to already have had in your hand. <laughs> it just never feels great, but at least you're playing, and you get to see what's going on, see some of your prize cards, and potentially get some of these Archeops into the discard pile. Do you want to update everybody here? Looks like Tennessee is doing fairly well. Uh, yep. Xander taking game one. We just saw Noah take game number one as well here, so there is that opportunity lining up. Well, there is that quick ball discarding Archeops, searching for that Lugia V. I think there's another Ultra Ball or Quick Ball in hand for Justin, but it's fine to hold it for next turn. Have a little bit more resources to work with. Yep, the versatility of maybe finding that Luminion to help out or uh, the Lugia V Star, as we know that that will be a tricky Pokemon to potentially find. And the attachment of the energy, although it means you have that retreat available, does mean that any top deck you find would be thrown away with Ultra Ball if, you, if you're not Marnied, so. Listen, you could just top deck the supporter anyway. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I just don't get lucky like that. That's not going to work <laughs> for me. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see. As Noah is going to start things off the way you want with that Evolution Incense for the Archeops. It always feels weird when you're playing this deck and you search for an Evolution on the opening turn, but... This is one that you don't mind finding early. Is get it in the discard as early as possible. Now you just got to pair it with the other Archeops in hand with an Ultra Ball, and it's going to be pretty perfect. That should be the new high five. As, it, it should uh, be. We've been yes. looking for it for a long time. Nothing really feels right. Uh, and I, I think that there's not a better moment than that. And big miss here, not finding <laughs> it. But it's okay. I believe that this could find the Archeops, and there's a Quick Ball in hand. So... It's like the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's a high four. That's close enough. Would you lose a finger? Y yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not worth getting into. It's like a, the cartoon high fives. Okay. They, 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 don't, they, don't, they don't have all the fingers. <laughs> Quick Ball will discard that second Archeops for Noah here. Mm, you can search out for another Lugia V, get that on the bench, kind of guarantee a V-Star next turn. Or you can eye down that Luminion V if you don't like playing a Marnie. Yeah, Lugia seems like the typical play here, as the Marnie usually seems great. But your opponent's on two cards. How good could they be? Two cards, didn't have a Rangaroo to put the Professor's Research on top of the deck. Of course, there is an opportunity where you could put them on a dead hand and feel comfortable, but... And I guess this does leave your bench leaving a little better, uh, looks a little better, so... I don't know, I'm doing the math, and I, th I think... Four is more than two. Oh, boy. Yep. Like Marnie is the option. <laughs> Allegedly, yes. Reluctantly throws down that Marnie. Does not feel great, but it all just depends on what your opponent does next turn. If they just throw down an energy and cry, then you, you, you made the best play of your life. Oh, it looks like four cards. Fifth card for Noah there. And, oh, that is a great hand from Justin. Both players drew really good hands. <laughs> That is exactly what you're looking for here. If you're Noah, the capture energy could find a card like that Oranguru if you want to make sure to even out some of those draws. Or if you're thinking further down the line, we could see one of those 
other tech Pokemon. Now, I know it doesn't matter too much here, but I guess Read the Wind is going to be more important than kind of saving the energy on the bench Lugia V. Yeah, I feel like with the way that we've seen this game play out, you never really use the full extent of your 16 energies, so uh, you don't, you're not terribly concerned about where those energies are. You're going to have them when you need to attack as long as you have the cards to get the, the double Archaeops, and sure enough, we already have both those in the discard pile. Well, Noah found that Manaphy off of that capture energy, goes straight to the bench. You got a couple supporters in hand for next turn, and I think just debating what to discard with the Read the Wind. Yep, and as we saw Noah with that incredible play with the Raikou, wants to avoid that on the other side. And uh, is going to play down that Manaphy, avoid some additional damage being played down, and an easy knockout on that Lugia V. It's asking a lot of your opponent, but this is the kind of hand that could get there. Uh, to talk about getting there. Uh, you, you were saying canceling clones pretty bad in this matchup, but it has one use. Oh, no. If the Manaphy's in the active spot, <laughs> you can cancel and clone and then attack with the Raikou and still deal bench damage. Yeah, but it's not like you're dealing weakness bench damage. <laughs> if, it's if a Manaphy. That, that would be cool if you could uh, <laughs> knock out the Lukia there, but don't think it's as relevant this time. <laughs> Ultra Ball starting things off for Justin. Discards that Archeops will find that Lugia V-Star. And now you can summoning Star, get both of those chops, as you would say, onto the bench. I would say. And you actually have that Utah in the active spot. Could just charge it up right away, get that knockout. But it does commit essentially all of the colored energy that Justin has available to him for this game. Yeah, seeing the double turbo makes you you're comfortable with the retreat if you are to use that Lugia. Also, it's hard for your opponent to knock out the Lugia V-Star, uh, especially when they don't have a retreater ready to go in this situation. So you could, you could easily see your opponent then promotes that Lugia V, tries to attach all of the powerful energies and find that choice belt, and uh, that's definitely a strategy you could go for. But yeah, we're going to see the commitment. And colored energies galore to knock out the... Uh, the smaller Lugia V. And now this puts a ton of pressure on the late game for Justin because you have those two Aurora energies in the prize cards. You're not going to get them off this first attack. And from there, you're going to have to rely on Lugia V Star to do a lot of heavy lifting that's going to tax your powerful colorless energies. And at least right now, Justin has that Marnie. Yep, I do worry about that. It's, uh, there's not a lot of energies remaining other than attacking with that Lugia or potentially Pokemon like Stoutland or something like that. It doesn't feel comfortable when, you're, uh, when you have to commit to this Pokemon this early on. And it's also such an easy Pokemon to remove. Your opponent is probably going to be looking for some assistance this turn, uh, and it walks right into a Luminion play where they can... Uh, find the supporter that they're looking for to get the rest of their setup, easily take a knockout, and remove so many of your important energies. Justin goes ahead and grabs the Luminion V from the Ultra Ball. Was eyeing down Manaphy. Shades of what we saw that first game with a big Raikou attack. It still could be a possibility. Raikou's in hand, Evolution Incense. You can retreat the Manaphy. Could you imagine a world where uh, the Lugia is bossed up choice belt Raikou. That, that's what I'm saying. To, gets the huge knockout on both Pokemon. I think with the draw of the Marnie though, it's not going to be available. You need something like that quick ball to find Luminion V. Can't do it with capture energy. Well, you can, but you're not going to get the ability. Well, you see both Archeops there. Yeah, there's, there's no way to do all of it. If you could work in Irida and Boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Play two supporters in a turn. If I don't recommend that. Now, with this capture energy, you can grab... Oh, a Ranguru. Maybe find the boss's orders off the top of oh, the deck. No. <laughs> it's better than Wap Down, as I was worried you were going to suggest... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm always a fan of Wap Down, but of I, I'm, I'm a realist, okay? It's not going to happen. Wap Down for what? <laughs> oh, failing the 
capture energy. Man, I would have loved to see it. But with this Raikou down on the bench, that means Amazing Shot is going to be available. Oh, escape Rope is what we're going for, I guess. Okay, yeah, that would be a, a pretty nice find. Would have been. It, by the way, uh, it, Noah's, It's there. Wait, it's there? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Escape Rope pushing the Utah back to the bench. And Noah's going to take two prizes this turn, no matter what. Does Justin choose to give up an Archeops? Yes. He's going to. And Noah also found the Speed Lightning Energy. Uh, unfortunately, can't play that there because of the capture this turn. But see a lot of a commitment here. One, two, three of those Aurora Energies to this Raikou. But feels worth it. It's a great situation where once more you're getting more prize cards than you bargained for. And you get to remove two very pivotal pieces. Amazing shot, knock out Archeops, knock out the five energy Evotol. Justin left with just one Archeops in play here in top four, down a game, but is tied up on prizes here, four to four. Yeah, you really start to worry. In this situation, losing the Archeops gives you an opportunity to play enough of these energies onto the Lugia V-Star, have that as your main attacker, but in a world where Noah just finds a uh, boss's orders and knocks out that last Archeops, you are completely reliant on that Lugia going the distance. I don't, I don't see that as a win. Not at all. Game one, Justin could have benched the Manaphy to prevent the amazing shot play, but would have only had one bench space for an Archeops the following turn. This time, Ultra Ball for the Luminion V instead of the Manaphy, even was eyeing down the Manaphy opted not to get it and got amazing shot yet again. That's just bad luck. It's just disrespect. <laughs> just, this is, you know what? You don't have it. And sure enough, Marnie into escape rope. Oh, boy. When you got it, you got it. And so far, it seems like Noah has everything available to him. Primal Turbo powered up that Lugia. We're going to see the capture energy. Grab that Ranguru. And with the way the energies are played out on the Lugia V-Star, it doesn't threaten a knockout on uh, your opponent's Lugia V-Star. makes it so that that Pokemon be a great resource. You can just charge up that Pokemon, knock out the Archeops if you have a way to bring it in the active spot. You're not truly threatened by that Radiant Charizard unless it finds that exact copy of the Choice Belt. So, Which is in hand to know. Well, then let's be worried about that, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, there, there's definitely some, some hoops to jump through here. It's, uh, seeing the one Archeops makes Noah obviously excited, but maybe there is a world where you just target down the active Pokemon and try to remove the threats as they come. Is there the third powerful colorless energy in the deck from the Primal Turbo? It might be in hand, honestly. Well, they, they were oh, no, prized, but yeah, they one were prized. was taken. One is still in the prize cards. And there it is. And with that third powerful colorless energy, this Lugia V-Star will be able to take the knockout on Justin's own V-Star in the active spot. And from there, Noah just needs two more prizes to move on to finals. Yep, this is a big knockout here. Take those two prize cards. And then Justin, even if he has all the right cards to knock out this Lugia V-Star, still going to be one prize short, and you start to wonder where the opportunity for a final prize is. Would you have to have it's a double a turbo boss mana Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that's the way it's going to shape up here. You have that Aurora Energy Choice Belt in hand. That's enough to take the knockout with that Radiant Charizard. This is not something that Noah could play around by V-Guard energy. That's not a, an energy that applies in this situation. This is just one of those knockouts that occasionally does happen in the game. It never feels great as the Lugia, but certainly given the board state, Noah has an opportunity to close out in a game going second where things didn't look the greatest. Oh, actually playing the professor's There's research here, discarding two boss. boss's orders. How do you that's, win? That's your way to win. There is three in the deck, I guess, so as long as you have a Luminion, but you had it in hand. 
Jeremy. I guess escape rope? I, I don't know, Jeremy. I'm worried. That was a lot of resources. What else are we looking for this turn? Drew into Stoutland. Yeah, you do not want to bench that or that Lugia V. Giving two prizes to Noah for next turn could just seal the game up. Are we just not even going to play anything from the hand? Yeah, why research there? It's going to have to rely off of these next few cards. Noah cannot win the game this turn. Access to any supporter in the deck there with the Luminion. Evolution Incense can start things off. Try to see what is going on there. Eyes up the Stoutland. <laughs> says, you have a lot of hit points. I need to just <laughs> avoid one prize card. And uh, my opponent threw away a lot of bosses. Who's the boss? We don't know. They're in the discard. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through for the options left in the deck. Grab that Archaeops just so you can thin out a little more. Maybe see a Marnie here just to make the hand a little bit smaller for Justin on the following turn. Let's see Primal Turbo going to grab Heat Fire Energy available. Yes, it is. That's 180 HP on this Radiant Charizard now. Puts it out of range of a double powerful energy uh, attack from that Archaeops. A lot to think about here, trying to close things out. Both players looking at some of the final prize cards, potentially of the match. Noah with one lined up on the Radiant Charizard. And what is left for Justin in this game? Irida. Irida. For the quick ball. I don't know what Irida really grabs you right now. Finds the quick ball and the Luminion. And we're going to grab the Snorlax now. Snorlax has a little more HP, but it is just another attacker, I guess. You can retreat into it for the next turn. There is that attack for the knockout. One prize for Noah. Justin needs that boss's orders. Has Ultra Ball, Quick Ball in hand. Yeah, in this situation, you'd probably go for a Pokemon like Luminion if the Aurora energies were available. I don't think they are. I think it's the last prize. Well, you just Ultra Ball for Luminion, grab Boss's orders, attach that powerful colorless energy, search for another energy, and take the knockout on Manaphy. There's energy left in the deck. Is there... The boss's orders. Now this is the Ultra Ball. Fails the Ultra Ball. Oh, that's not a knockout! Yeah, the Heat Fire heat Energy fire just energy. attacked in. And it's not And because there. of this, Noah's going to win yeah, that he's turn. just got it. He can just go to the Snorlax, thumping Snore, do it for Dad. That's the game. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> in... Insane way to close it out, Noah Sawyer. Moving on to the finals, hoping for an all Tennessee finals if Xander can pull it off. Wow. Whew. <laughs> Man, those energies on Radiant Charizards are yeah. something else. Uh, who knew Heat Fire would come in so clutch this whole weekend? But it does. That plus 20 HP means a lot. Yeah, that was uh, that was wild. It's uh, it's really fun <laughs> to see uh, the back and forth between these players trying to make sure that every single resource found its maximum use. And sure enough, that heat fire energy was just enough to get the job done there for the Radiant Charizard. There was so much back and forth going on there, trying to figure out exactly the final pieces to that puzzle. Seeing the boss's orders hit the discard pile on that previous turn really threw us. Yeah. Uh, so. It's actually a funny interaction because technically, if 
Noah retreated the Heat Fire off, the Charizard would have been knocked out. So you still <laughs> need to Primal Turbo another energy, but I, I believe an energy was in hand for yeah. Noah. But I mean, the, the, the handshake does enough. Yeah, but yes, yeah. <laughs> to, 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 to make sure you perform those actions right is, uh, is important. <laughs> Insane way things ended up in that match. Uh, uh, Raikou, amazing shot. Uh, just being able to do what it needs to do in that mirror match. Yep, it's a uh, it's it's fun to see uh, that it, these small differences in the deck list really mattered in that situation. We we saw Justin just not focused on uh, protecting the bench. Like that probably is just like one of the main strategies now too. You don't play the Dunsports either. You're just not thinking about those other.